What's your view on the Canadian energy sector? Over the last three years, the energy sector was one of the most unloved sectors by investors. Globally, oil prices remain stubbornly low, and even events like turmoil in the Middle East or sanctions on major oil producers that in the past would lead to a sharp rally in prices did not matter this time. In Canada specifically, lack of pipeline capacity and hostile government regulations exacerbated an already tough economic environment. This led to investors shying away from the sector and since 2017, ETF net investment flows have continuously declined. However, lately there were some developments that improved the outlook for the sector. First, there was some positive news about pipelines and takeaway capacity. Second, there was some positive change in government tone towards Alberta due to their minority government status. Last, valuations reached such a low level that combined with the previous two points increased interest in the sector. Expecting some of these developments, recently we increased our weight in the sector in general, and specifically we increased our weight in our resources and maintained an overweight position in Canadian natural. Overall, we have a, an overweight position of 0.8% in the ENPs, which is the segment in the oil sector that we believe will perform the best in an improving Canadian energy outlook. Have you recently made any changes to the energy sector in the portfolio? Yes. As I just mentioned, recently we increased our weight in ARC resources. ARC was negatively impacted by the volatile pricing of Alberta's natural gas over the last two years. However, over the last few months, there were some positive developments that gave us confidence to increase our weight in the company. From a macro perspective, prior to June 2017, Alberta's natural gas prices were relatively stable between $2 to $3. However, since TC Energy changed its gas allocation system, pricing became extremely volatile. In October this year, TC Energy reverted back to the system in early 2017, and this immediately stabilized prices above $2 again. Second, in the next two years, more gas takeaway capacity is expected to come online. This will help clear excess gas production in Western Canada before the Kitty Met LNG project will absorb even more production. From a company perspective, recently ARC announced further reduction in its capital expenditures, but it maintained its production guidance, indicating improved capital expenditure efficiency.